Hi, this is Nev Lapwood. I'm up here at Whistler Blackcomb with my buddy Jordan Decker. Hey. This is a tutorial about how to ollie. An ollie is one of the most important tricks you can ever learn on a snowboard. We use it everywhere, in the terrain park, off jumps, when free riding, hitting side hits. The more you practice an ollie, the better you're going to get at it. Jumping on a snowboard is one of the things that everybody has to learn how to do. Start out with a flat area where you can learn the technique of an ollie. Jumping off two feet is not an ollie. An ollie is where you use the flex of your board to get you into the air. And this is how it works. You start with a little bit of weight on your front foot, slide your board through until you're on the tail. At this stage, the nose of your board is lifting off the ground, you're in a tail press position. From here, you snap off the tail, bringing both feet up evenly, and absorb your landing to land smoothly. Do that a bit quicker. Weight on the front foot, slide through to the back foot, snap into the air, landing on both feet. When a lot of people start out ollieing, they tend to just pop off the back foot, pop off the tail, without that front foot motion. And what happens is this, back foot to front foot, back foot to front foot. The way to even out that position and land with both feet equally is by starting that little bit of weight on the front foot, sliding it through, snapping off the tail. That brings everything together into that motion where you're gonna be balanced over both feet. After you've learned the technique here, go to a very mellow run where you can try out ollieing while you're riding. Most people actually find it easier while they're on a slope. A little bit of weight in the front foot, slide it through to the back foot, pop, both feet up together and landing. Do this a bunch of times. One of the most important things with an ollie is your timing. So to challenge your timing, you can do some games with a buddy. Chuck a ball of snow in the ground and try to ollie over it. Maybe a stick will work, a glove, a snowboard, or if you can find like a bamboo pole like this, you'll be able to challenge each other with not only timing, but also how high you get. When people start out ollieing, a lot of people don't get very high. They're just kind of doing these lame little ollies. And what they're doing is they're not shifting that board underneath them very much. As you want to get more height, the more you shift your board underneath you, the more flex you're going to get in the tail of your board, and the higher that's going to pop you off the ground. That's how you're going to get your ollies high. Ollies can be used all over the mountain. They're very popular in the terrain park on different features. Knuckles of park jumps like this are a great place to learn how to ollie into the downwards transition with speed. It'll get you the feeling of what it's gonna be like to hit that jump. You'd usually ollie a couple of feet before the knuckle and land smoothly into the transition. Next, you can take that to the actual park jump. If you ollie off the lift of the park jump, you're gonna get a lot higher than you normally would by just cruising off. And it's gonna look a lot better. When Jordan and I are in the park, we're ollieing off every jump and every good rider is. Boxes and rails are another place where you can ollie on and ollie off. Start with a really simple box like this one. You can actually ride onto it. But if you do a little controlled ollie onto it and a controlled ollie off, it's gonna look so much more stylish. Now this is one point where you need to make sure you keep your base flat. If you're learning ollies, you want to keep the tail of your board flat with the snow. If you lean too much towards your toe edge or your heel edge, that's going to slip out and make your ollie look awkward. You'll find this out quickly when you're doing that on boxes and rails. When you start hitting bigger park features, you can't ride onto them, so you have to be able to ollie into them. We ollie into all these different varieties of rails and boxes. When you're free riding, you use ollies everywhere. Every little feature you can pop off, every little side hit, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get and the higher your ollies are gonna be. Ollies are one of the most important tricks in snowboarding. We use it all over the mountain, all the time, for everything. This tutorial gives you some of the basic technique behind them. I'm Nev Lapwood and Jordan Decker. We're here at Whistler Blackcomb. This is Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.